I mean, people really, I think people really kind of bond with the rawness and the openness and the pain life gives you. So, so I'm totally blind in his left eye and in my right eye, I can only see from like my hand up. And so this, this is the field of vision. When the guy in New York was interviewing me, he didn't want to do it. And he told me, he goes, well, I mean, we can try the surgery and it might work, but it probably won't. I was like, might work, but probably won't. How many years of medical school is that? Everything might work, but probably won't. Me trying to fix it myself might work, but probably won't. Who would do anything with those kind of options? There was this waitress in Milwaukee asked me, so okay, exactly show me how and what you can see. She laughed so loud in my face. And I thought, dang, it hurt my feelings, but at least she got it. How embarrassing it is for me sometimes to come off stage and I be missing people's handshakes and stepping on toes and squeezing titties on accident. Yeah. <laughs> I love the ability to create something in my brain and take it on stage. Stop letting people tell you how you're supposed to feel. Listen, don't tell a man that he's not a good communicator. That's trite. Every dude knows how to communicate. It's just different than you. You probably didn't notice. You probably didn't notice. You, you know that um, men never fight with other men over how poorly we communicate with each other. There's never a fight between two men to start with. You just ain't clear with me, Earl. We don't talk like that. I really did have the intention that I was going to, uh, I was going to kill myself if I lost all the, the eyesight. I just didn't think I was strong enough to live that existence, and I thought I was tired of fighting and carrying uh, this limited vision and this not getting chosen thing. I went to an open mic and I talked about it, and man, people just started laughing. So I started having these serious suicidal thoughts in my head, and this is how I know God has a sense of humor. In the middle of the surgery, I heard the voice go, would you really kill yourself if you was totally blind? I said, yep. I heard that same voice go, how? You'd be totally blind. <laughs> and I hadn't thought that far, right? It's the rawest and the scariest moment I've ever been in my life. When I, I felt like I, I would quit, and that scared me. And so for me to turn that into uh, a big bit, a big bit of my show, it's, it's pretty, I'm pretty proud of it. You ever knew somebody lost a whole bunch of weight? You didn't say nothing to them when they was big. But when they lose their weight, yo, your enthusiasm insults them. You don't think you are, but it's too much. You'd be like, wow, wow. I mean, really, wow. You look, you look amazing. It's a combination of philosophy and a little bit of preaching, a lot of jokes. I, I start them slow, but I punch heavy with the jokes. So and I, I think I can make you laugh at stuff you had no idea you thought was funny.